I have a teaching. And this teaching, I want you to pray for grace to receive the grace in this teaching. Just a few seconds. Open your mouth and say, Lord, I receive grace to receive the grace in this teaching. It, it should not just come as one of those teachings. I want it to be the beginning of turn around in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Thank you for joining us to celebrate our mother yesterday. Hallelujah. Thank you. God bless you. When the Son of God was ministering yesterday, some things done on me, and it gave my teaching this morning a title, No Provision for Mediocrity. What did I say? No provision for mediocrity. If I continue, um, my friend is around now, Dr. Leia Digon. Hallelujah. Amen. My Thursday night, my birthday night was with him at his hotel. Hotel. It's not hotel room. It's hotel place. Yeah, hotel place. And after that meeting, I said to myself, I left there around 10. I said to myself, I will never be small. You will see him. Okay, you see his picture. We are like the same stature. He told me, he immediately landed. He said, he called me. He said, he said Wale, happy party. I just landed. I said, oh, wow, beautiful. He said, although I came into Nigeria two days ago, but um, we're told that it's raining, that the wrong way is uh, flooded, that we should hang in the air for one hour. Uh, we should hang in the air. So we hang in the air. So we're moving around for one hour. He said, and my pilot told me that um, we need fuel. So I said, okay, let's go to Ghana. So we landed in Ghana. So we went to Ghana. They explored Ghana. They said, okay, let us go to Tanzania and play. And they went to Tanzania to play. So the few that came to Nigeria and landed, I said, wow, beautiful. Beautiful. He was still with his t-shirt, the white t-shirt, and uh, very simple. I said, I, no, okay, I saw the wife, I saw the wife, I saw the son. He said, I came with my family. Okay, he said, uh, I want to go get my debit card because my children are hungry. I said, he came with his children, he came with his wife, he came with his security details from U.S. Now, they were all lodged. His pilots his cabin crew, his family, his security. He has security in Nigeria waiting for him. The security, Nigeria security are outside. The U.S. security, I asked them where are they. So they said they're hanging, they're hanging around, they're hanging around. I was like, you tell me they are here. And they said they are hanging, and hanging. He said, ah. he said, Wally, I can't do it. I can't do it. He said, if they just show me gun like this, I would die myself. So I can't, I can't move without security. I said, ah, Lay, so you came from U.S. with your... Or jet. I said, yes, sir. I said, I even want to play. Um, I like, uh, my family like Tanzania. I want to play. Uh, uh, I want to, I'm going to be here for one month, so maybe we'll go back to Tanzania again to just go and play and uh, come back. I said, uh, we can go together. I said, yes, uh, we'll go. So uh, we'll go to Ghana and Tanzania together. I'm not playing, paying for taking it, but unfortunately, my wife reminded me yesterday that my, pa my passport has expired. Uh, I, won't, I won't speak in tongues there. That leads to my message. There is no room for mediocrity. It was yesterday when we were going home that she reminded me that ah, because we wanted to renew it and uh, and one thing or other, is there I forgot or something happened. And I was already planning to to play, to go to Tanzania and go to my wife's country so I can tell her more about the streets and local government and say government in that country. Uh, yes, I've been the one telling her the stories about that country. She left Ghana when she was four years and she has not been back there. So I mean, I've been there. I'll tell her, do you know this place? Do you know this place? He said, ah, have you not done enough? Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> there is no room for mediocrity. If it's an opportunity that is going to turn my life around totally, that's how I will miss it. I'm not talking about you, I'm giving my example. So, anybody now, if I have American visa now and I want to travel to America, uh, okay, I will just go for free. No paying, no buying tickets. Yeah. I was telling him that um, one of my team, Bra Omar, did the research about him and he said that, um, that he has four private jets. And I was like, ah, Bra Omar, where did you get four private jets? He's one that I know. He said, ah, no, he's five already, Wale. It's not even four, it's five. Uh -huh. I said, Leye, how did you buy these jets? And when he started telling me, I discovered I can buy it. Is that principle that Mr. Sadi shared with us? It's coming next Sunday. It's going to be with us live next Sunday. He's going to be, he told me, his story he told me, 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 he told me. I discovered it's not different from us. He just got some principle right. Just got some principle right. No provision for them uh, for what for mediocrity. What is mediocrity? Mediocrity. What's that? It's average. So there's no fifty percent in the agenda of God. Is that hundred percent or zero? That was what the servant of God was saying yesterday. There is no provision for average in everything is that it is up or down he said when there's a casting down it says what did he talk about me he didn't talk about me he spoke about the rich and what the poor did the bible talk about average people or middle class is that the rich are the poor the rich have recognition the poor tell. middle class are insignificant there is no provision for average he spoke about the hot and the cold in fact he said if you are neither hot nor cold if you are average what would i uh, i will vomit you he spoke about the good and the bad there's nothing like almost good It's life and death. There's nothing like coma. <laughs> the coma is either life or death. It spoke about excellence or it is worse. There's nothing like it's almost excellent. Is either it is excellent or what? It is worse. I want to speak to you this morning. Right or wrong? It's not like almost right or almost coming out of wrong almost not wrong there's something like that is either it is there or not is that you have it or you don't have it not that i have half there is no provision for mediocrity i'm setting a perspective this morning that i want you to blow your brain blow everything about you there is no provision for is that is it or is not that's nothing that if you are still around 50 60 70 percent consider yourself that you are not there yet you are not in the radar as a matter of fact you are missing in the radar the moment you left zero and you are on the journey if you are not yet in 100 you are not in the radar is that it is zero when you zero we know that you are down we need your you need help and we're 100 we know you are there but between zero and 100 there's no provision there's no provision there's no provision for it spoke about the beginning or the end there's nothing like me do so there is no provision for what for mediocrity joshua chapter 14 verse 7 Joshua chapter 14 verse 7 it's a 40 years old 
he said 40 years old was i when moses the servant of the lord sent me from kadesh banner to inspire out of the land and i brought in world again as it was in my heart me from the head is that it's coming from within you or it's coming from someone next to you environment or situation there's no sitting in between there's no sitting in between mediocrity so is either you are the one dishing out mediocrity or you are accepting mediocrity that's why workers listen everyone is pardoned today after today we will not pardon you again accepting excuses all the time is accepting mediocrity it's accepting mediocrity he shared he shared some principle of success between business and how he succeeded in business i discovered profit was not part of it profit his investment in business is not investment in profit he's looking for people that have the drive that's what qualifies you for investment as in when you face obstacle you won't give up you're not accepting mediocrity any longer because it makes us mediocre it makes us an average church god's servant that went for it was sharing the experience with me in in in, in his experience space in his it place Sister Lynn, he said one week I wanted to run back to the Maker's Church. What? I said, don't worry, this one will be sweet in your mouth. Come and talk to workers yourself. He said, me that will get to church and see in my car, we are joining AC. He said, it's not like that there. He said, workers prayer starts 6 a.m. It's 10 minutes drive from my house. I must get to church before my pastor gets to church. And I only know when I'm going to church. I don't know when I'm going to leave. Because I dare not leave when he's still around. I said, Pastor Wale, huh? No wonder some people look at us and say, Make us church is an average church. Yes because we have accepted metodic mediocrity for too long they will now go to places they don't accept anything less you judge us from the standard of that place listen pastor smith after today there is no there's no me too i want to make it i want to drive private jets mediocres don't drive private jets there is no provision for mediocrity no provision no provision no provision no provision god does not have provision for mediocrity men does not have provision for mediocrity nobody thank you I'm okay here. They say I should move to the altar for proper lighting. I am light. I am fire. I carry grace to carry fire. I carry fire to carry grace. <laughs> Aha, thank you, thank you. I will witness that. 
Let me stay here. So please, no excuse is acceptable in your own life. What did I say? No excuse. He brought a word for Moses from his heart, not from the head. Not what he saw on the line, in the line. It's what he was seeing from his heart. So, or excuse is based on what you are saying around. Huh? Uh -huh. That's why you are not doing it. The reason for doing is from within. Everything on earth is programmed to discourage you. Everything on earth is programmed to what? To discourage you. When God, he said, the Bible said, God created heaven and earth. In the beginning, God created heaven. He said, the earth was without form and void. Darkness. The first thing was darkness was upon the deep. So everything upon the head was programmed to discourage you. The only thing that will not discourage you is what is within you. Get out and come out from mediocrity. Come out of it. Don't be forced into excellence. Make a decision for excellence and come out of mediocrity. There is no provision for average. There is no provision in the scripture, in the agenda of God, in the word of God. There's no provision. The world will not reward you when you try. Nobody wants to hear that you are trying. They want your results. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. No, keep quiet. Nobody rewards who tries. What is the reward for trying? Nothing. The cure for insult is results. If someone insults, insults you, keep quiet. Bring results, they will keep quiet. God and society does not reward those that try, but those that succeed. Matthew chapter 24 verse 13 says, But he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. There's no, there's no, there's no, he that is trying to endure. There is no provision. He said, he that gets to the end, that endure to the end, is the one that will be saved. Not the righteous in the journey. No, you can be righteous throughout the journey. If you don't get there, you can't be saved. It's the end. It's not the journey. So stop telling people reasons why you, you are. It's not enough. The moment anybody accepts reasons for why you are here, where you are, is the, the enemy in disguise. Is the enemy calling out of you that want to cage you where you are. Accepting reasons for staying where you are is to cage you where you are. Anyone that accepts reasons and excuses for not being excellent is your enemy. Quote me. Caught me is your enemy. Because you have reasons not to continue, not to strive, not to move forward. I want to share some secrets with you this morning and permit me to say it now. When, you know, I, I, sometimes I feel that I should be God. As a matter of fact, I wanted to be God before. So I gave my life to I want to be God that there will be taco put palm oil and how they will come into the shrine that's what that's my desire in life oh. that's why god said ah this one must not leave primary school before he's born again the moment he gets to secondary school like this is a good shrine we'll go and be looking for him i just feel that as i'm talking to you i should just change your life as in as i'm saying it i've just stepped outside there go um do you need two billion naira? and immediately he enter his account is it not possible? I just wish that I could. No one is interested in your pain. Everyone wants to see your gain. No one is interested in your pain. You are, as a matter of fact, who is feeling the pain? So how do you expect them to understand what you are passing through as close as the husband and wife is the husband does not understand the pain of pregnancy and as close as wife is to the husband sometimes the wife does not understand the pain that the husband is passing through we just only ah, don't kill yourself everything will be fine oh you don't understand pastor wally once said you don't understand 
<laughs> no one is interested in your pain. Tell somebody beside you, no one is interested in your pain. What is your gain? Um, you know, I'm having this problem. Esma, keep quiet. I also have problem. Everybody has problem. But guess what? We are interested in how you solve your problem. Not in the story. Because if you are telling me your story, I will tell you mine. Everybody has problem in God. Darkness was upon the face of the deep. It was brought from a void. There was war in heaven. We are not in Jesus. He said, if this cup can pass over me. What we are interested in is how you solve the problem. Stop telling stories of your challenges. Give testimony of how you solve the problem. People want to use your, tes use your testimony as a template of success. Stop dwelling in mediocrity. You must have something to show. What did I say? You must have something to show. Nobody is interested in what you know if you can't show it. <laughs> I am professor, doctor, master's order, BSc, SSC. Help me. Uh, pro, PhD, MSc, BSc, SSC school living certificates mother tongue you can know anything nobody's interested in what you know it is what you show it is what nobody's interested john chapter 7 verse 4 the brothers of jesus said to him for there is no man john chapter 7 verse 4 for there is no man that doeth anything in secret and he himself seeketh to be known openly. If thou do these things, show thyself to the world. If you know what you know, ah, I have ideas. Yes, convert your ideas to money. Convert your ideas to success. Many years ago, some young folks came to me when I was living with my brother in cement, and I, I was I was speaking something. Ah, he said, Egbon, he said, ah, you have a lot to deliver. <sighs> See, we have to come back again. Because they came the first time, they came back in because they want to come and talk to me. One of them said, ah, if you can just have little success, the world will listen to you. Ah, and I was trying to say, think about little success. I said, little success. He said, yes. It's just small, small achievements that people can see and connect to you. He said they will listen to you. He said nobody wants to listen to somebody that they can't see any achievement. Even though you have what to achieve. Ah. So. I was invited to Four Square. Do you remember? Four Square at uh, Babalola side. Babalola, Four Square to come and speak to the youth. So. Normal, I will enter bus from cement, get to Oshodi, and go to her. But that day, the money I did not have, I used it to order Uber. You remember that we went together? Because by the time I apply in front of the church with bike, half of them will not listen to me again. So, he went with me now, we have not married, so we sat at the back. It was through a friend I was invited. He sat at the back. So when they were, uh, uh, God, uh, they were waiting. So they opened the door for him. He said, oh, God bless you. Oh, how are you? God bless you. 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 So I make sure they all went inside. We will go inside first before I pay the Uber. Before I pay. They don't know. And the moment we are closing, we have ordered another one. And the one we order, because I was going to your house, just like you order Uber from here to uh, that bridge. It just carry me come out from this place. When you get to the road, drop me. <laughs> <laughs> I 
just drop me. It's not about what you know. It's about what you have to show. There is no room for average or mediocrity. Stop tolerating mediocrity in your life. Stop giving excuses for what is not working. What did I say? Stop giving excuses for what is not working. Stop giving excuses for what is not working. Everything must work. Now, um, Leia shared a story with me. He said uh, when he wanted to uh, collect his license in the U.S. to open his clinic, that um, the investor have invested, and it takes $1 million to, to open the clinic and do all that. So the investor that invested $350,000, $350,000 in the facility they had paid for three months, they had fixed the place, and they deny him the license. So the investor was like, I can't keep investing, I can't be investing money into the lawyer, into lawyer to change law. Law cannot be changed in America. So I can't be investing, so the investor back back out. Now, if he did not pay after that three months, the landlord will sue him to court. And um, he had been kicked out he said, he will share with us. He said, he has done 21 businesses that did not work. 21. So he went to, so one day, he said, he was still working. He said, now he had just $35 in his account. $35. And he said, okay, let me go to the license. He took, it's, it's about nine hours to drive to that place. And he looked, I said, this $35 will take me to that place to buy gas take me and bring me back but i won't have money to eat and uh, by that time he was already kicked out was kicked out oh Benilo, america leave that he was kicked out so he went he said he, he just took the risk and drove to the place and when he got there because he just made up his mind that because there's the clause in that in the law because there's a company that's already doing that and there's an examination they must do before they can be given that license and because it's just one company in in, in in miami florida that is doing that so it is that company that will conduct the examination for them for them to get license who will pass people to become competitor Because the, the person that owns the company knows people in, is it Congress or so they, they were able to put that law there. So he drove there. He said, when I got there, I met a old woman, um, um, not that old. And he said, he said, and I went to her and I told her my story. And she said, oh, wow. I understand. I understand that many people have that same problem. Um, that is that company that actually facilitated that. So that they can monopolize the uh, but guess what if you had come on friday because i'm retiring on friday and they are doing they're doing sent forth for me on friday if you had come on friday you wouldn't have met me here and this is tuesday but guess what what's going to happen is that uh, if i approve the license for you they will fire me so this is what i'm going to do i am retiring on friday so i will approve the license on tuesday before they think of firing me I am retired. They can't withdraw it. And she approved the license that day. And that's what I'm up to today. That's what she's using to operate. Do you know why? You gave up because there's a law against you. It's not about those. It's those that endure to the end. He said, and the woman approved the license. Because you know that the consequences is they will fire me. They don't need to fire me. I am retired. And she approved the license she took a risk to drive nine hours that's 18 hours with 35 dollars tell somebody there's no room for mediocrity is that how you get it or you don't get it there's nothing like ah there's no wish that I, I wish i could make it no you must make it it's a must that you make it. If you don't want to make it, just watch me as I make it. You don't like that. If you don't want to make it, just watch me as I make it. Just watch me. I make up my mind as a pastor. 
pray. I will, I will, I will do and I will succeed. Anywhere I get to. I've started having a series of meetings. I had the general secretary was with me on, on Wednesday. General secretary was there. Since having some series of meetings, if I see I have another one on Friday, it was canceled, it was postponed. They, are, they said, no, we want to come to your church. We want to come to your church. We want to come. It's mommy that took me there. It's not me. Now, I begin to wonder. They said, they said, there's something about you. There's something, there's something, there's something, there's something, there's something, there's something, there's something. Ah, something is, something is about to happen in Alagbole, Ajumon, Akute, Ojodu, Ijuaga, uh, what's that your area? Lambe. Something is about to happen. If you, are, if you don't see it, wait until it begins to happen. Then you know, then you begin to see PWA. Hey, ah, he's our pastor. You are not proud of me now. Let it happen. You are proud of me, yes. No, that's not what I'm saying. As in, whatever level it is now, let it begin to happen. These are general overseer of churches, Abby. These are pastors of different uh, uh, this thing. He said, God brought you to a miss at such a time like this for a purpose. Listen. God's servant told me, our father, Dr. C.M., he said, he said, I'm still going getting, getting to the principle of one thing. He said, that one thing that you are good at, make sure you do it very, 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 very well until the good call you good in it and i don't joke with the word of the god cmd i take it as an instruction even if it suggests yes sir there's no suggestion in my dictionary from you to me your suggestion is as good as instruction so if you don't want me to make mistake don't give me an instruction because i will carry it out immediately before i know it's, a, it's an error So if you just wake up one day, say he's angry. I said, Ah, Pastor, do this now. I said, Yes, sir, I've done it. Ah, oh, I'm no longer angry. Let's go. Okay, sir. That's the way I was taught. Loyalty is not insane. I took it up. I, I took it as instruction. I don't know what verse is this in my Bible, but that is Saint Lamai. According to Saint Lamai. In my, yes, because he had different chapters and verses. So when I begin to, because I pick them up and I run with them. That's my, there's nobody I've ever walked with in my life that I've not picked something from them. I'm an embodiment of grace because everyone that I've come in contact with, I've served under them. I have the deposit of their grace. They don't give me, I take it. I take it. I take it. Now that leads me to the second thing, Second Chronicles chapter twenty-six, verse fifteen. Second Chronicles chapter twenty-six, verse fifteen. So all these street pastors, all the zonal leaders, listen to me. There is no provision for democracy. Uh, I said democracy. Mediocrity. No. You dare not come back and say it's not working. To come and meet who? Because I have never one day gone back to Dr. CMD and say it's not working. It must work in it. It's not work. It was a part, one of the pastor, Pastor Tolusha, that taught me. He, he, when, he gave me an assignment to do. And I, I said, ah, sorry. I went and I came. I said, I can't do it. He said, get out of here. You are a failure. Ah. I said, sorry, me, money. I don't know. It's a, I said, if I count one, two, three, and you don't disappear, I'll get it done. I'll come back here. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I just went to someone. I said, please, look at this thing. Can you help me? He said, ah, it's simple now. And he helped me, and I did it. And I said, I said, ah, okay, thank you. And I went back to him, and I gave it to him. He said, wow. Okay, good. He said, so how did you do it? I said, I had to go and look for someone to assist me. He said, yes. I said, I know you cannot do it. But it is possible. I know you cannot do it. But it is what? It is possible. Have you done it now? Yes. So you have learned a lesson in life. Anytime you give excuse 
for not for what is not working you are a failure even if you don't know how to do it does not mean it can't be done who cares who help you all we know that is what is done it's done I told Pastor Smith, we are doing branding and it's as if money is not. I said, Pastor Smith, we have to make it happen. He said, uh, uh, money is up, but sir, we'll make it happen. We'll make it happen. And it happened. We'll sort out the issue of money later. What is important is that what? It happened. And you are the one that will pay the money. All of you that are seated here. Second Chronicles chapter twenty-six, verse fifteen. Verse fifteen. Somebody should help me read this. I'm very. I'm not good in accounting. I'm not going to be good in critical analysis. Pastor Smith was asking me that, uh, how did I know? I went to do, got map. I was analyzing this area, ballet, this place. Ballet, I, uh, okay, wrong. Uh, uh, have you been to other? I've not been there. I sat down in my room and I went to all those places. The only place, if you give me the street number of your house, I'll bring out the color of your house. So good in critical analysis. So I'm holding on to critical analysis. In administration what is one thing in analysis I'm still looking for one thing in critical analysis in every critical analysis the strategy <laughs> I still have one thing in analysis so I still hold on to strategy where do we start from pastoring are we talking about pastoring now we have left it today strategy what is one thing in strategy wisdom wisdom in strategy so i hold on to wisdom in strategy that's one thing in strategy because strategy has different things around it. i'm holding on to wisdom what is the one thing in wisdom i speak it you can do different things with wisdom but i know i'm good at speaking so i choose to work do one thing in wisdom is what speak wisdom now after speaking many things happen in speaking by holding on to one thing faith comment by hearing and hearing so in speaking there is faith I hold on to faith one thing there is faith for healing there is faith for faith there's my dimension, different dimension of faith. But I was still looking for one thing in faith. Ha! Ah, possibility. Wherever there is possibility, there is faith. So I hold on to possibility in faith. Anything is possible. And possibility can be anything. It can be a possibility to beat you. So I was look, I started looking for one thing in possibility. And guess what? I found success. So what is that one thing I live for? I help people to succeed. You can't come across me in life and don't succeed. Now, that is the definition of grace that I carry. There's grace for prosperity, there's grace for healing, there's grace for why I carry grace for success. You can't be connected to me and fail. It's not possible. I say you with all audacity. It's not possible. It's a grace that I carry from one thing. It's not possible. It's not possible. It's not possible. One assignment I have in the maker's church for God, servant, and father in the Lord to make sure his vision succeeds. And it will succeed. Everyone I come in contact with in my life, the only one thing, the only one thing I want to do is to help them to succeed. That's the only one thing. So what defines my pastoral grace is possibility and success. You can't. Now, 
There's financial success. I don't need to know about finances. As long as I have success, you succeed financially. There's marital success. There's spiritual success. Now, if you discover now, I'm already talking to you. Some of those things about me that you see on social media, my this thing, you know, family relationship of, uh, and, uh, and uh, marital success, career, business, and financial success, spiritual and spiritual success. Can you see where I got it? Just one thing. So when I meet you for the first time, what I'm thinking in my mind, how can I help you to succeed? One thing. One thing. One thing. This is what defines the grace of God upon my life. Listen, when you have discovered your one thing to the point of grace, it's the beginning of success. One thing, one thing. Listen, this preaching that I'm preaching, I will preach it in America, I will preach it in Asia, I will preach it in Europe, I will preach it because I have found one thing. When I meet you, I want, how can I help you to succeed? Okay. The only one thing that I will do for you, even when you are against me, that will not feel bad, is when you succeed. I can... That's the only, I, that's what I live for. I help people to succeed by addressing critical issues that affect every aspect of human social and spiritual development. That is one thing, one thing. Discover your one thing. I am going somewhere with my one thing. Don't forget this, my friend that is coming. I asked him for rent, 2000 and what? Is it 16 or what? He told me, sorry, he can't help me. I asked him for, uh, Business investment, he said, sorry, I don't invest in startups. So, I kept on at my one thing. <laughs> Until my profiting began to show to her. <laughs> but suppose they called me from America. He, called me, he, said, he said, Pastor Wade, the way they see you, they think your life has better finish. Anyone that will see that will help you, tell the person that they should help you. I said, ah. I will, I will tell them that because he said the way they see you on social media you're, you don't need help you don't, you don't, you don't need help I'm already helped I'm already helped all of you, you are giving me dollars in Jesus name I'm already helped so the person that was nobody before Suddenly, you just come, oh, my brother, my brother from another mother. That's how he called me now. He said, I just want to check on you. I, I just called to check on you. He said, oh, ah. he said, I'm going to be in Niger. Now, nobody knew he was in the country except me. It was a picture I took with him in his hotel that I posted in the secondary school page, and they started calling me. A friend called me from Canada. Wale, where are you? Are you in Nigeria or America? Because they know that he's in America. And I took pictures, and they, know he's not, they don't know he's in Nigeria. So if you are taking pictures, uh, if I was a liar, I said, yes, I'm in um, Ontario. <laughs> is Ontario in America? He's in Canada. So, you know, I said, ah, you are in Ontario. Ontario is not in uh, America now. That's when they will know that I'm lying. Please, one thing. Hold on to it until it announces you. You can do many things. You can do many things. In a short while, there are people that I've known in this area that I don't know them before. Is this one thing? Is this one thing? Do I know you before? I don't know you before. Uh, what, what brought us together? This one thing. This one thing. Nobody has. I have never been celebrated the way i was celebrated on my bed never i was telling my wife i, I was thinking my, i want to tell my wife that, that um, i wish one of these days they blow saxophone on my birthday on my birthday because I, I wanted to tell her so in case anybody wants to plan with her discuss with her she will not tell them that pastor does not like it i never knew that it's just by my door i never knew wednesday night i called my wife my children, I said, I feel caged. I feel that they are planning something. They are planning something around me. They said, really? I said, yeah. 
I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it's like some people come together, and this is where I feel when people are planning against me. And I used to cancel it and cancel. Ah, and she said that ah, what of if it is possible? I said she has stand. Ah, she she said ah, I want to use the restroom. She left. So when she left, I went to knock the door in the restroom. I said, what is that one thing that said that uh, if I have money, I'm going to buy? She said, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. I was just restless. I, what is happening? I don't know that she has planned with my neighbor because they know I won't come out of the room. So come and bring me out of the room. She was surprised at that morning. I dressed up and I went to sit down in the living room as if I'm expecting some people. I told, I told, I told, I told I, I, the night. I said, uh, please, I want you to tidy up the house in case unexpected visitors are coming. She said, okay. I never knew what was happening. For me. Listen, I have done this one thing to a point that it's very difficult for me to be in the dark. So go back to my room. I said, I said, if I have money, I'm going to buy a suit, a jacket. That is not a small one. I'm going to buy. Okay. Since she was, uh, I don't understand. No, I just left her. My neighbor just came in. No, I came. I said, ah, "You're not going to." My girl just came in. I said, ah, "Pastor, happy birthday." I said, ah. "I was asking, how did they know?" He said, ah, "Status now. I never know that uh, they're funny." The next thing when they came, I just said, "Bara ah. bara." And I begin to see. to mommy and I saw the jacket they brought ah one thing I can remain in wishing for the day rest of my life but there is one thing that will bring your wish to reality I can't stress it enough one thing one thing i do other things so but you see this pastoring in fact after thursday i receive more grace to pastor the more in fact i want to stay in the maker's church i said i go out of this country yes hallelujah god's servant our father in the lord we spoke to around 12 to one he still sent gifts to me everybody just acted as if everything was normal my daughter is only my son they did not allow him to know he would just tell me said daddy ah, those people that are coming are they not coming again <laughs> and i would say who are the ones i said ah, mommy said that uh, uh, pastor smith and i said eh. and i would just tell him Shh. let's pretend as if we don't know so they did not allow him to know because he's my guy he's my party and why I came out because anytime he wakes up, he comes to my room to come and greet me. So I didn't see him. I said, Ah, no. Ah, why will I not see my son on my bed before he goes to school? So I came out to say, Ah, are you not going to school? And he came to her. I don't know that he has wanted to come. My wife stopped him. The prince of Pasha, princess of Pasha. <laughs> see, in, in case he's going to give me any clue. But listen. You can't be celebrated outside one thing. You are celebrating me because I am your pastor. One thing. One. You are not celebrating me because I'm a business consultant. You are not celebrating me because I'm author. You are celebrating me because I'm what? Pastor. One thing. And listen, in that one thing, my passion, my desire, my cry is every body i come in contact with in my life i must help them to succeed it defines the grace that i carry and that one thing defines the grace that you carry too i hope you understand this very well after today there's no room for mediocrity no provision for it no get one thing and do it 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 until it is done how many things how many things 
One thing, not two. One thing. If it is pillow you are selling, sell it until the neck of everybody is calling for your pillow. If it is singing, you are singing. That's why I told Lucius and Co. Everyone that's singing is what they do. And you did not release single, not double. Sing, single. 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 Mm, they have not started. Thespian. Even our father in the Lord called me. He said, who edited that the Thespian the video? I told him. He said, ah. He said they should continue. Another day he called me. He said, please make sure you encourage them to call. I said they are in church now. They are even putting something together. He said, hey. I said, please talk to them. Didn't he speak to you? From one thing from America. One thing. Guess what? The devil will not be giving you different kind of excuses for that one thing. Uh, don't agree. Everybody shout one thing. I can't hear you say one thing. Do it. Fail and fail and fail and fail and fail in that one thing until you can't fail again. One thing. And if your own is giving back to children, make sure you succeed in it. By the time, see, it's an advantage to give back to plenty of children, even though me, I don't want. By the time you give back to 15 children, you will start school. Your children will not pay school fees again. You, you will use your children to start school. Your advert has started. You understand? With your own children. I'm not looking for God. It's, it's one thing. One thing. So you that have vision for plenty of children, receive in the name of Jesus. <laughs> uh, one thing Paul said this one thing I do Philippians chapter 3 this what one thing I do forgetting that which is behind and all, this one thing receive the grace to succeed in Jesus I want you to close your eyes this morning and speak Lord what is that one thing that will announce me now it's not a now i'll give you an analysis of my own pastoring in pastoring there's one thing i say it's administration in general there's one thing is critical analysis in critical analysis there's one thing is strategy in strategy there is one thing is wisdom in wisdom there is one thing is speaking in speaking there is one thing is faith in faith there is one thing is possibility in possibility there is one thing is success then it defines me by purpose and reason i live i live to help people to succeed I want you to ask lord one thing that one thing one thing lord help me one thing open my eyes to it open my eyes to that one thing open my eyes to that one thing that one thing yes you can you can be better than this just hold on to that one thing announce it to the world make noise about it sing it talk about it dance it that one thing one thing one thing not two things thank you father in jesus precious name we have prayed now the one thing don't forget this month is a month of light and the bible says if your eyes be single your whole body will be full of light this month that one thing that will announce you to the world announce your generation to the world that will make your desires come to pass that will make men to celebrate you that one thing ah god will open your eyes to it in the name of jesus I said, God, open your eyes to in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Hallelujah.